Oh god. Nice. Alright. Test, 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 test. Tours. Alright everyone. Welcome back to the Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cup. My name is Mavis, your friendly neighborhood veteran. And uh, I'm so glad to be continuing doing this. I have a lot of stuff coming up. I might be even part of another theater performance. Who knows? I just gotta see how that would work out. And um, I want to say one thing, like, there's a lot of stuff that's going on in the world today, and I'm like, in no shape or form, like, very political, but I like to be led by my morals, I like to be making the right choices about my life, about anyone else's life, and I, ha and I have to, and during my time in service, I understood the impact that individuals can have on other people and it echoes it touches every single person in that person's life and so forth what we have to understand is that we as a country have to take responsibility at a certain point for the villains that we create and we have to have this epiphany or things will never change and i'm not saying i sympathize with individuals I, I sympathize. I do sympathize. I have to sympathize. I have to sympathize and I empathize because actions have consequences and they echo throughout the years. And sometimes in the worst case scenarios, our fellow citizens in this country end up becoming victims of circumstances that shape and transform people to become villains. And we, got, and we as a society have to let go of certain things, you know, and stop trying to step on each other. Because at a certain point, we have to look at it and say we had to be responsible for the creation of our own villains. And we have to look at it, every single, every single thing is connected, every single thing it fits round into a puzzle and it fits on one thing when and our leaders who we have elected to government office have to carefully look at it they can't do any more knee-jerk reactions there's no such thing as common sense gun laws because I never even heard of that <laughs> and we're the only country in the world that has to deal with this issue because we constant we have individuals I'm sorry to say this individuals or groups of people that perpetuate negativity and they put it out and they continually put it out through their kids, through groups of people that they hang out with and they continue to perpetuate and they constantly plagues the individual to a point where they end up going out and losing their minds and seeing the world with darkened eyes and go out and they take the lives of children or take the lives of a group of people just because of their skin tone and all this other stuff like that. Everyone, everyone and that person's life has contributed to this individual and he is 18 and those kids were 13 this is it's a loss on both sides who came in it's it's ridiculous and another 18 year old um, another 18 year old they'll never know a brighter tomorrow they'll be one of them survived he's facing time behind time behind bars for the lives he took in uh, up in New York and Buffalo Another guy, he'll he'll never know what it's like to be alive for a change because he was so depressed or whatever whatever's going on, whatever information is coming around. I'm just saying, I, I'm not taking a pain. I'm I'm trying to paint a picture, and like it just mar demarginalizes the efforts of people who constantly post positive messages on social media and they constantly post basically, like, hey, be careful who you treat because they could be having a bad day. And the worst thing about it is. Is just like, like, there's always messages of warning to that. And le our leaders have to step forward and they start have to start making changes. And sometimes there's going to be a moment where you say, we have to screw this constitution or something like that because it's not working. You know, it, 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 it's butting heads. You know, butting heads with people that want to remain in power. People are stepping up to these politicians in their faces. They say, get a hold of the situation because nobody should be dying like this. Kids should not have to die. Parents should not have to be burying their kids. That's all I have to say. 
and like we can't be having these knee-jerk reactions we have to look at it with wisdom and a great perspective and intelligence is a key factor to growing American society because right now a lot of American citizens are dealing with a lot of stuff and I can, I, it breaks my heart when you have to say this, but it's now, it's the, slowly these, the, 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 there's people, there's like a lot of things that are happening where it's becoming less of a land of opportunity that's just full of opportunists. And we have to grow together as a society, stop the dividing and just get our shit together. And I'm just going to leave it at that. So let's go ahead and get started. Continue. Where did I leave off? Oh, yeah. I was going into the police station. I might meet Sanders in the police station. And, oh, I need my one 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 one. Surrounding that hostage situation in Detroit has just flown through the roof. There we go. Thanks to the arrival of William Taggart, the author and founder of the anti-augmentation organization Humanity Front. All right, all right. Speaking from the tarmac at Wayne County Airport, Taggart called the attacks an extremely regrettable thing. I very much like the music. You're saying your neighbor knows something about these disappearances. Boys who went missing went to my village. They used to argue a lot with my neighbor Casey. What did they argue about? The boy used to listen to that conspiracy DJ, Lazarus. He used to blast that trash out of his window so the whole city could hear. Casey was always yelling at him to turn it down. And what about that makes you think Casey is involved in his disappearance? Well, one day I heard the boy yelling something about Casey being a government spy, and that he and the CIA were working on a plan to take a hold of the world. The next day, the boy was gone. Interesting. Excuse me, but I am telling this officer something very important. It's a busy day. Wait your turn. Sure, whatever. All right, where's this guy at? I'm here. So we have to get to the second floor. I need to go to the basement. I'm going to the second floor first. Cannot technologies. Oh, wrong Cannot. Wire. Uh, and closed the Broadview Tunnel. Perhaps they feared what might happen. Violent skirmishes did break out, but no According to you, fly from Pike. See if he moves. Let me save. Let's go 
is this? Access granted. He lost his job. God damn. That is wild. It's an active, active, make it active. That's it? So good, okay. Skirmishes did break out, but no serious. Is there something I can help you with, sir? No, you can't. You can't help me. Who's that? Let me save real quick. Before I walk in there. I told you. It was like a week ago. We was hanging with, with some old friends. Old friends. Oh, now it makes sense. 
We're not allowed to do police work today because we're taking orders from the mayor's campaign contributor. Yo, you got all the answers. Why you bothering me? Okay, smart mouth. How does Og trafficking grab you, huh? Does that ring a bell? What the hell are you doing in here? Okay, smart mouth. How does Og trafficking grab you, huh? Does that ring a bell? Maybe the DRBs are having a chat with your brother right now. What's the matter? Now you've got nothing to say? I've got all day, kid. I'm a very heavy dude. I'm looking at you too, homeboy. Jensen, what the hell are you doing here? The station's supposed to be off limits to all non essentials. You don't even fucking work here anymore. A lot of money. Where do I go? Access grant. In and out. I remember when I pre completely started a new game and I was just tumbling around these dudes fucking places, dude. It was fucking hilarious. Tugging on this. How did you get to? There we go. 
Perfect. Perfectly portrait. All right. Another ties meet with Greg Thorpe. Where am I at? So what floor am I on? The skirmishes did break out, but no serious. All the media speculation surrounding that hostage situation. Save again, just in case. Done with this conversation going sideways. Get lost. I mean it. My people have worked tirelessly to find a peace. Uh oh. Thank God I saved. Oh my God. That's fucking wild. That is fucking wild, dude. That is wild. Why would you why would you crash like that? Celebrity author and founder of the anti-augmentation organization, Humanity Front. Speaking yeah? What do you want? Information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraph Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha! And I want a blowjob and a vintage 05 bar GT, so I guess we both keep on dreaming. Huh, metalhead? You talk tough, but we both know that's all you can do. Deep down, you're nothing but a coward. Well, trust me, tough guy. I'm the real thing. If you don't give me what I want, I won't beat you up. I'll kill you. Ah, uh, now listen, man. We, we obviously got off on the wrong foot here, right? <laughs> I don't want no trouble. Talk. Okay, look. I just came in one morning, and there was an email with my new assignment in it. Official business. But there were also specific instructions. I had to check out the lab for footage from an IntelliCam. They told me to take it and leave it near a garbage can somewhere near the lake. What was on it? Well, it's not crystal clear, but mainly it shows the boys who attacked Seraph as they were breaching the labs. And it looked like they were bringing something in with them. Eh, impossible to tell what. Who asked you to do this? You think I know? Orders are orders around here. They always come from above. And nobody asks questions. You just do what they say, and you hope you don't end up like Secretary Haas over there. The police decided to God shut damn. down the legal rally prematurely and close the branch. Alright, time to get information off this body. Regardless, several violent skirmishes did break out, but no serious injuries were Speed upgrade. Boop. Boop. All right. Boop. Meaning the combat rifle ammo is at home. So 
another round. Yo, my man, how you doing? Come to gloat, Hanser. Enjoy it while you can. I won't be here long. That's pretty optimistic talk from a guy facing terrorism charges. Ain't gonna be any charges. You think your boss is the only powerful man in this city? The way I figure it, DA's getting a phone call right about now. Yeah? Well, I know the DA. He can't be bought. Ain't about money, Cholo. You and your company? You're fucking with nature, trying to control human evolution. But you got no clue what the real cost of your tinkering will be. Thank God a lot of other men do. Powerful men. Powerful enough to pick up a phone and get me free. Just watch. Are we talking about your brother? You stay away from him, Hanser. You even think about going after him. Oh, fuck it, man. You don't know nothing about my brother and me. We're done here. Sorry, baby. Can't do it through the bars. Wow. 24-7. We <laughs> set him free. Oh my god. Chaos. You've gone through the sewers and took care of it right there. Never seen a fucking thing. About time. You the home sec guy I was ordered to wait for? Tell Manderly I didn't get the memo until I was halfway through the autopsy. By then, it was too late to close him up again. Right. So you recovered the neural hub? Tricky bit of work that was. A few inches lower and the bullet would have fried more than just the pedal connectors. As it is, I can't guarantee you'll get anything useful out of it. Other than the fact that it's been modified. Modified? With what? Some kind of wet drive. But hey, I didn't look. Ultraviolet means ultraviolet. And I know how touchy you guys get when it comes to matters of national security. He's all yours. The hub's been detached, but I left it in the skull as ordered. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got paperwork to fix. You mean doctor. Let's see if there's anything useful around him before I snatch it out of his skull. Trying to make sure there's nothing that I'm missing. But I do need to go ahead and take it out of the skull. Boss, I got the neural hub. Looks like it's been modified with some kind of wet drive. Pritchard should have a look at it. No, don't bring it here. Frank's not finished running his diagnostic. And I don't want to risk connecting any tech to our networks till he's done. Especially if the tech is military. So what do you want me to do? Take the hub to your apartment. I'll have Frank contact you there. demonstration at the limb clinic. Get lost. Okay. I Bye. mean it. Several violent skirmishes did break out, but Fine. no serious injuries were reported. Things change, my dude. Jensen, I have a message for you. From one of your former colleagues, a Detective Alexander. Jenny? What did she want? She said she could use some help if you could make your way over to Grand River Road. And might I just add, as wonderful as it is to have you back at the office, I am not your personal dating service. Let's go see what Jenny wanted. Where? 
Wait, what? Where's the rest of it? I thought it would pop up on my... Well, she hasn't called me directly, so... Oh, there it is. Let's go meet with Greg. Oh, I got that box fell over. Where is he? Where's Greg? Oh, fuck no. Oh, he's on the third floor. Where'd homeboy go? He's gone, like what the fuck? I can never thank you enough for what you did. Welcome. I'm glad you came. I can never properly repay you for what you did, of course, but I would like to help out any way I can. What do you have in mind? There's a gentleman named Seurat who works in the area. His business causes him to move around quite a bit, but at the moment he's occupying an apartment in a building on Earl's Court. If you mention my name, he'll give you a discount on his wares. He deals in... Well, he's a gun runner. How does a guy like you know someone like that? <laughs> Growing up in my old neighborhood, you learn pretty quick to cultivate certain types of relationships. I appreciate it, bro. Where is my homeboy at? My dude is gone, bro. He was just sitting here. That's so wild. What you need, player? Because I know where you can cop some goods. If you want some.
Hmm, okay, 35 minutes in. Hmm. I'm not gonna do all that. I'm gonna return to my office. I tell that dude to get the fuck out of my office. Just stop doing dumb shit. Great job at the plant, boss. Wish I could have gone out with you, but things got a little tense over here, too. I don't want to deal with Corellia yet. Or do I? Go home then. Turn to Corella. Oh, he was right there the whole time. Did you get it yet? Adam, please. You have to get that security footage back. I got the footage. You owe me one, too. Yeah, you got that right, Jensen. I mean, thank you so much. This is my life I just got back. Here, there's the weapon mod, as promised. Listen, I know you were trying to do a good thing, and I respect that. But you should do it through proper channels. Next time you might not get this lucky. Yeah, you're right, Adam. I know you're right. Listen, thanks again. All right, let's check these weapon mods. I do love this pistol so much. Reload speed is fine for the pistol. I'll give it to the Magnum. All right, what's next on the list of things to write? All the way over there. All right, fine. Hey, hey, someone took all my crutches. I sure did.
People been saying ogs equal progress. Look at me. I've been progress right out into the street. I... I've been out on the streets a long time. I've seen a lot of bad shit out here. Have you found anything? Please, I've got to know what really happened to Megan. Complete quest. I've investigated all of Detective Chase's leads. You were right. Something was off with Megan's case. So, what did you find? Someone in the government, a man named Manderley, ordered that a specially appointed medical examiner perform the autopsy. He bypassed the local M.E. Simply put, that's not a good sign. It sure doesn't sound good. There were only three people who got out of the labs alive. Me and two others. One died in the hospital a few days later. A second one, a lab tech, was ready to give a detailed description of what he saw. Funny thing is, by the time the investigators got to him, he couldn't remember a thing. You sound like you don't believe that. I don't. Not from the reports I've read. I think someone got to him first. An officer assigned to the case was asked to get rid of a major piece of evidence. Footage from one of our intellicams showed fuzzy images of the attackers bringing something inside the labs. What? What were they bringing in? I don't know. But for someone higher up to want that evidence gone, it must have been important. I got my hand on a test report that confirms what was bothering Chase. The attackers used excessive measures to make bodies and equipment unidentifiable. Oh my god, Megan. What do you make of this, Adam? I don't know exactly. I guess the idea was to leave no traces, no DNA evidence that would link back to them. But it just seems a bit too convenient. So what you're telling me is we couldn't find anything conclusive? No, I'm sorry. But one thing's for sure. Somebody's been hard at work covering up and destroying evidence related to this case. Somebody with power who wanted to erase anything that might have made the investigation linger. I'm sorry, Cassandra. I wish I had more tangible answers to give you. But I did stumble on something I think you should have. I found Megan's bracelet. I'm sure she'd want you to have it. Oh, Adam, that's very kind of you. Her grandmother gave it to her. She loved that bracelet very much. Thank you for all you did. And um, do you, do you know exactly how Megan died? I read the reports. She didn't suffer, Cassandra. I can promise you that. Thank you, Adam. It's not much, but it still brings me some comfort. I miss her so much. Don't worry, Cassandra. This is not over. I don't know how or when, but I will get to the bottom of this. I knew I was right to trust you, Adam. But please, be careful. It's strange. I thought knowing what really happened would make me feel better. But nothing will ever justify this. My daughter is gone, and I'll never get her back. I wish. I wish I could be sure she gets justice. Trust me, she will. Where are you, Jensen? I haven't gone all night. Hello, Pritchard. I'm almost in my apartment now. 
Well, when you do get in there, connect the neural hub to your computer. I've created a secure tunnel, and I'll take over remotely. You can access my personal computer. Who do you think configured your security protocols? Mr. Jensen, I fixed up your apartment real nice. That special request you asked for works like a charm. Hello? It must have been pretty bad, right? I can't believe he said that. Bye-bye. The good Lord made you in his own image. Why would you desecrate yourself? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it was. I knew you and that mess were close, but I didn't realize you were that close. wanted us to get enhanced. Now you're saying we're not normal anymore. Well, I'll try not to touch you too often with my cold, dead, metal hand. Okay? What the fuck? Let me get away from here. Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. Oh, look at that. That is nice. Augment you. Oh my god. Cringe. Ooh, there it is. Thanks to the arrival of William Taggart, celebrity author and founder of the anti augmentation organization, Humanity Front. Speaking from the tarmac at Wayne County Airport, Taggart called the attack... An extremely regrettable affair. I'd very much like to meet with David Serap in person to offer my deepest sympathies and assure him that these attacks are in no way linked to Humanity Front. My people have worked tirelessly to find a peaceful solution to this dispute, and I unequivocally deplore the methods used by these hostage takers. Now, that being said, I do hope the UN takes a concentrated look at what happened here tonight. Mr. Taggart went on to... I want an apartment like this. Nicely decorated.
put this sandwich on your desk, my dude. Richard, the hub's connected. I know. Now be quiet and let me concentrate. I need his name, Pritchard, not his entire genetic history. That's not his DNA. It's the data he was trying to steal from us before he... My God, Jensen. Your suicide hacker didn't kill himself. You obviously didn't see his brain spidered all over the floor. No, no, you don't understand. The wet drive modification in this chip, it allows someone to hack through you. It turns you, quite literally, into a human proxy. So he wasn't working alone. Someone off-site was doing the actual hacking. Exactly. And whoever it was tried to hide his location by using multiple satellites. But I may have just traced him to here. An abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. Get me the address, Pritchard. Because if we're lucky, whoever pulled our terrorist strings might still be there. He gave, she gave away Kubrick. Five, three, seven, five. Adam, it's David. Let me guess, you're sending me to Highland Park. Not just yet. Frank's figured out why the network's been compromised. There's a persistent transmission coming from Derelict Row. Street gang territory? Well, our dead friend was posing as an Antioch. Who better to hide with than the D-Row ballers? Right. I'm on my way. Look at all these goodies here. Pistol armor piercing system. All right, let's see what we got here. Traveler. Not my money. Woo, this pistol is getting really, really good. All right, what's next? Damn. Damn, Daniel. I love this apartment, by the way. What's that? What's that? What's that? Give me that. I love this apartment. I love this apartment. Even though it's like, it's like a little mini studio. Well, no, it's not. It is perfect. Hmm. The one thing I don't like about the game, about this game, is the fact that uh, it doesn't, like, you, your energy doesn't charge all the way back up, and I fucking hate it. You just have one battery cell. Re-establishing so. security system. See you soon, Mr. Jensen. Mr. Jensen, I fixed up your apartment real nice. That special request you asked for works like a charm. Hmm. And we finished all the side quests. So let's see if we can do a little bit more upgrade to Adam. So I got two prax Praxis kits. Battery is already fully operational. Hacking analyze add-on. Hmm. Hacking fortify. Stealth enhancer. Well, stealth. Yes, please. Oh, fuck. Hmm. We'll hold on to the next one. I want to, I really want to get that implanted rebreather. 
I don't need that. It's almost like Metal Gear. Straight up stealth ninja. Before you ask, no, your mirror has not been replaced, Mr. Jensen. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. I love Deus Ex, dude. God. God, I love this human revolution mankind divided. I really want to see a conclusion to his story. But I think they probably hit a snag. Maybe. I don't know. What do you want, Nark? Nark. I never let T-Boss be booking me with no cocks. I find him nasty. I think they're kind of cool. Yeah, to me, it's a welcome change to the dirty old man I used to get. All one comes up. So I had to get to Derelict Road. And it's in their territory? Even All right. their own, I guess. I can go up here. Behold the future, man. Those protesters just don't understand. I climbed up here and I got into an altercation. I was using my sniper rifle to tear through him. How can I help you, Francis? You know why I'm contacting you. The transmission that's making a mockery of your security efforts? It's keeping a back door open into our network. None of us are secure unless you find the antenna that's sending it and shut it down. For you, anything. I killed one person. I'm sorry, dude.
There's gotta be a different way than just that. Because it was the only way. Alright, time to use some of this energy stuff I bought I grabbed. I'm gonna use one cyber boost. Then save first. That's always a good idea. Let's go back here. Yo, are you serious? Yo, are you serious right now? Oh my god? I don't need that. I just robbed these dudes. things, seeing things, man, I gotta lay off the hard stuff. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. That's all we do get. Ever since that purity dude went up on the roof and hacked the antenna. Sanders, friend? You let him up near the helipad? He said he'd get us porn. And you believe him? Fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. Something over there? Uh. 
far, Mr. Darrow has refused our repeated requests for an interview. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Pikus. You keep the machine just a moment. Can you believe him? Man, fucking idiot. <laughs> Upstairs, though. Oh, shit. Save. Oh my god. I'll let them come through and deal with the shit. I'm good. literally out of stealth option I'm, li I'm I I'm literally out of like Access granted. You better stay running, Ed. 
Boss, is that back door still open? No, good job. Frank just sent me the all clear. Now it's time to find the bastards who attacked us. Farina, are you standing by? On the line, boss. Jensen, you reading me? Loud and clear. Stay close to the antenna. Pritchard sent me the coordinates for it. I'm coming to pick you up. Damn, that looks gorgeous. Mr. Jensen, your limo has arrived. You ready to leave? Yeah, let's go. Great. Detroit Local. This is Seraph Industries Bravo Echo Echo 008. Continuing on. Woo! Ghost experience bonus is only awarded when an objective is completed without you being seen by any hostile. Arr. Richard, you got coordinates on that factory yet? I was only able to pinpoint an approximate area, Jensen. So scout around and look for anything unusual. I'll keep monitoring the frequency in case it suddenly goes active. Yo, what's good, man? You looking for some new toys? I can make you a good deal. I could use some information. I could tell you some shit for sure. What you want to know? You guys seen anything suspicious going down around here? Suspicious ain't the word, man. All types of caravans moving in and out of here. They're going all out. Who is they? Well, that's the problem. These motherfuckers ain't consistent, for real. The feds were buying up all the land from the textile manufacturers until about a month ago. That's when some started going down in this bitch. Some real. What you call it before? Suspicious. Word, suspicious. Something real suspicious started happening. These spec ops moved into the factory and started running some sort of major operation. They picked off my brother for trying to set up shop in the area. Rest in peace, Big Rizzle. Yeah, rip. These spec ops still around? Yeah, no doubt. They got a patrol unit in the courtyard, and they got snipers on the roof and shit. Thing is, I saw some government vans lurking around, so it looks like they be moving their party somewhere else and making way for the feds once again. Thanks. All good. Anything else? Might be a good idea to stock up. What do you have? Shit, son. We got some hot items right now. Check it out. What you need? Ah. Uh. I don't have a tranquilizer offer. Hmm. Good idea. Here you go, son. Anything else? I'll take a grenade back. Good choice, son. Anything else? I could use some more ammo. All good. What else you need, man? I'm good for now. Thanks for the offer. All good, son. Peace. And watch your back. I'm literally out of whatever I needed for this thing. No concussion rounds. No stun grenades. Jesus Christ, man. We'll continue where we left off. Please hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you all in the next video. Ciao.